All right guys, what's going on? It's Spencer Gilmore here back with another hair rescue video. Today we're gonna to be talking about the ultimate hair loss prevention and growth guide. Now these are actual pharmaceuticals, most of them, and things that you're gonna to have to buy. But if you have done and exhausted everything from some of my other videos talking about optimizing your sleep, optimizing your diet, getting enough sunlight, fixing your water, exercise, et cetera. You're doing all of those and you're even using some of the natural products that we listed before, like rosemary water, and that doesn't seem to be working for you. Here are the pharmaceutical drugs that you can use that will probably be the ultimate five things to stop your hair loss and help you start regrowing hair. I have used all of these products in the past and I do think they work. And Derek from More Plates, More Dates even agrees with me because this is one of a lot of the products that he used in his hair regrowth era. So let's get into it. The things that we have for preventing further hair loss are going to be your 5-alpha reductase inhibitors and going to be your topical anti-androgens. Those can be finasteride, dutasteride, and then RU58841 and pritulamide. Now you can pick and choose which one you like. Dutasteride is gonna be stronger than finasteride and RU is gonna be stronger than pritulamide. Each one of those drugs comes with its own potential side effect factors, but if you, know, you can tolerate all of them well, I don't see any reason to stop using them. So pick and choose. I like finasteride with RU58841. Those are going to cover both your bases at lowering the body's DHT levels and then blocking the androgen receptors from whatever DHT is left over from attaching to the androgen receptors in your hair follicles with that topical anti-androgen. This is going to eliminate the hair shedding process and help to strengthen the hair that you currently have. The other products we can get into are minoxidil, kenoconazole, and a derma stamp or a derma roller. So minoxidil is a vasodilator. Essentially, wherever it is applied, it's going to bring more blood flow to that area. This is going to bring more nutrients and make the environment more conducive for hair growth. It is not really a hair loss prevention drug, it is a hair growth stimulant. So minoxidil is going to help grow new hair. On top of this, you can use kenoconazole or latanoprost. I think both these work in similar fashion. Kenoconazole is an antifungal, but has been shown to have some anti-androgen effects similar to that RU58841 and pratulamide. However, I put them in the hair growth factor because they come with shampoos that have them included and I think they're much more conducive for hair growth than hair loss prevention because most people that use them probably don't see the hair loss prevention as much as the hair growth. And then coupled with a derma stamp over a derma roller, I prefer the derma stamp because you get less tearing and you can be more precise with the needle length. You use this to stimulate collagen production, stimulate blood flow to the scalp, increase nutrient partitioning, which is really just going to increase your overall hair growth. All five of these, or six, depending on how much you use, are really going to cover all of your bases on your scalp for inducing a chemical change to stop any further hair loss, increase the hair that you currently have, and strengthen the hair that you currently have. These products I really covers all your bases. And for millions of men out there who can tolerate all these drugs without any side effects and use them in moderation, I think are going to get a fantastic result from this routine. It's one that I use personally for a little while and I stopped taking finasteride because I didn't want it and I stopped using ketoconazole based shampoo and started using red light therapy and really optimized my diet because I just didn't think it was that necessary. May start using it again, I'm not sure, just trying to be transparent. I do love using a derma stamp one time a week. I use a scalp massager uh, just about every day, just massaging the scalp for like five minutes to increase blood flow to the area. It also helps increase and move around any any oils or serums you put in your hair. Would love to hear anybody else's thoughts on this, but I think that this is really the ultimate hair loss prevention guide. Using these five and or six supplements or in pharmaceutical drugs, and a lot of companies now, you can even get all of these into one spray. I know Hems and Keeps sell a finasteride, minoxidil, ketoconazole, and biotin spray. Spray. You just spray it on your head. I think that's probably a fantastic supplement to use. A little expensive, but it probably works pretty well for the people who are good with finasteride. Supplement Hair Rescue has the RU58841 and minoxidil in it, so you could either use another topical finasteride only, or if you're taking finasteride orally, there you go, and then you use a ketoconazole-based shampoo and get a derma stamp. So fantastic ways to eliminate any androgenic alopecia and male pattern baldness you're likely suffering from if you're losing a lot of hair on the top of your scalp and helping to regrow new hair. All right, leave a comment below if you thought that this was interesting and leave a comment if you uh, think you'd add or subtract anything from this routine. I think it's pretty bulletproof. Like, subscribe, thank you for watching.